All righty. Good morning, Dayton. So today I'm going to talk about my favorite genre and what genre means to me. Keep it simple. All right. So my favorite genre would have to be EDM, also known as electronic dance music. It's just something about those those synthesizers, that electronic sound mixed with uh, that four on the floor pump. It just makes me want to fist pump, jump up, and go crazy. Also, shout out to Therapy Cafe for EDM Tuesdays. Those are dope. Um, let's see. I also like making electronic dance music because with the synthesizers, you can tweak the sounds, make them how you want, that kind of thing. So you get a kind of a custom feel. It's like the sounds came straight from your from your heart, straight from the vibration. Although, if you don't have the skill to fully articulate it to others, it might sound kind of bland, so that's always the trade-off in making it. Um, let's see, what genre means to me? Now this is, this is what I really wanted to talk about. Because I believe genres are like different language languages of expressing um, your intent. For instance, with classical music, the intent is more to speak on the music theory, actually. Like, I feel like all types of classical music is about trying to show off the music theory skills, but yet in a beautiful cinematic kind of way. It's like the, it's like the art films of music. But, with, but as time went on and more diverse audiences got a hold of music, I believe it's simplified to different things. Like, for instance, pop music, they found they're trying to express the most harmonic way of putting chords in the most simplest manner to get the greatest audience. And I think that pop music does that. It does what it does and makes good earworms that, that stick with you. And with hip hop, it's more about the percussion and the bass line. And because it's more about the rhythm and everything, that's why it's more bass heavy because it, it gets you head nodding and it, and it just, just gets you feeling as opposed to, you know, the melodies. That's why there's a lot of samples in hip-hop as opposed to, like, maybe a lot of other genres. And so, like, they can sample that beat break, add a little bass, and get people to feel that nostalgia as well as get on the floor to dance and rap over it. What else is there? Rock. I feel like rock is more to kind of lit out tension most of the time, especially in the more harder, metaler type areas because there's a lot of, like, I feel like a lot of the vocalists have like more gravelly voice and they're trying to release some kind of pent up rage or maybe even sadness in some cases. Um, let's see, what other genres are there? Jazz. I really like jazz. Jazz is it's a mix of um, it's a mix of interesting rhythms with interesting harmonies in a smooth way. It also deals mostly with improvisation. So um, what was it? Live instruments are usually the best way to express that, and I really like that because it gives it gives it that soul, you know. That's why everyone likes listening to jazz to just chill out and everything. Let's see what other genres are I can think of off the top of my head. Dubstep. I say dubstep is like the metal of <laughs> of EDM because it just it takes the electronic sounds and kind of pushes it to the limit with the little screeches and the and the wubs and woo, 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 woo. it takes the basses, the melodies and pushes the electronic music to its to its edges. Like to someone with a low tolerance for different sounds, dubstep can sound like harsh metal, you know, scratching your uh, nails on the chalkboard type. But I feel like dubstep is really good if you're willing to sit down and listen and that's pretty much about about all i have about that so enjoy the rest of your day i might do another live video on something i don't know but i'm gonna be feeling filming, filming here at the library so peace